believe uh, great leaders compose of several characteristics. One is the uh, ability to inspire others, and I believe that Dr. Ogawa fits that perfectly. I guess a great leader is somebody who really has a firm grasp of reality and understands what the options are within the reality that we have, and yet is very forceful and uh, very determined to change part of that reality. And I think Dr. Ogawa has always done that, particularly in terms of education, as when he started out as leading the Ethnic Studies Department and then now in American Studies. He's always been able to see what the options are and to carry on and actually give everybody else around him the courage to keep trying to change things. I think one major quality is, is that the person is very positive, uh, very optimistic. He's always been a tremendous facilitator in terms of communicating. And at the same time, he was very interested in Japanese Americans, and so his scholarship in the, on the Japanese American history and community was excellent. So those two things together, I think, as his teaching assistant, um, was personally valuable to me. We always look forward to going to his classes, and he'd, he'd have a, um, I remember Glenn Grant, who used to work with him quite, quite closely, and uh, it, 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 just, it used to be an, uh, an entertainment, like, like going to see David Letterman or something, but learning something at the same time. So it's a great experience. And I wrote a book called Jump and Pull, and I like that game because the individuals who I really enjoy talking with, when they play Jump and Pull, they always said, okay, if I lose, two out of three. You know, and so they're always thinking in terms of, from a very optimistic frame a very uh, humble person, yet uh, a great leader all in one.